Hi viewers, I'm Vijay. Today I'm going to take a demo on nutrition in human beings. Let us start with the introduction. Nutrition in human beings takes place in the digestive system. It consists of the elementary canal and glands which produce enzymes which breaks down food into smaller molecules. The main organs of the digestive system are mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and anus. The main glands are salivary glands, gastric glands, liver, pancreas, and intestinal glands. Elementary canal. Elementary canal is a long tube that is running through the body from the mouth to the anus. Here we can see in the diagram clearly the elementary canal that is running or extending from the mouth to the anus. Food is digested in the elementary canal. The soluble products are absorbed and the indigestible residues are expelled. Elementary canal is internally lined by epithelial cells. New epithelial cells are produced over time to replace the own or damaged cells during the moment of food. Five main processes associated with the digestion occur in the elementary canal. They are ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and ingestion. Ingestion and digestion. Ingestion. It is a process of taking in food is called ingestion. And the digestion is divided into two types, that is, mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. In mechanical digestion, it involves the physical breakdown of food into smaller pieces. Mechanical digestion begins in the mouth as the food is chewed. Whereas in chemical digestion, it involves the breakdown of food into simpler nutrients that can be used by the cells. Chemical digestion begins in the mouth when food mix with the, mixes with the saliva. Mouth Teeth mechanically break down food into small pieces. Tongue mixes food with saliva. Saliva is produced by the salivary glands, which are exocrine glands, glands with diets that produce the saliva. Salivary glands secrete enzyme amylase that breaks down starch into molecules. Here we can see three types of salivary glands. One is parotid, the other one is sublingual, and the final one is submandibular. Parotid salivary glands are serous in nature and they enter the mouth to, through stensus duct. Here we can see the stensus duct. They are located in front of ear. Whereas submandibular salivary glands, they are located below the lower jaw and they are serous and as well as mucus in nature. They secrete about 70% 70% of the saliva in the mouth. There are sublingual salivary glands that are located below the lower uh, below the tongue and they are serous and they are they are mucus in nature. Epiglottis. Epiglottis is a flat like structure at the back of the throat. Here we can see the epiglottis. The function is actually to prevent the food in entering the trachea. Esophagus. Here in this diagram you can see the esophagus. 
It is a muscular tube lined with mucous membrane. It connects the throat to the stomach. Moves food from the throat to the stomach using muscle movement known as peristalsis. Here in this diagram, we can see the peristalsis movement. Peristalsis movement it is an involuntary contraction by longitudinal and circular muscles responsible for the movement of food. Here we can see the food is moving in the elementary canal with the peristalsis movement. Stomach. Here we can see the stomach. It is a J-shape from muscular bag that stores the food you eat. It breaks down into tiny pieces. The walls of stomach produce gastric juice consisting of proteins which breaks the proteins to amino acids. The stomach also releases hydrochloric acid which kills the bacteria that are present in the stomach. Food found in the stomach is called chyme. Small intestine. Small intestine are roughly 7 meters long. Lining of the intestine walls has finger like proje projections called villi to increase the surface of area. The villi are covered in microvilli which further increases the surface area for absorption. Food enters from the stomach to intestinal duodenum which is the first part of the intestine. Here we can see the duodenum which is the first part of the intestine and jejunum after the duodenum, jejunum and the final one is ileum. The small intestine is divided into Three, one is duodenum, jejunum, and ileum parts. Okay. Where food is here, the food is mixed with the pancreatic juice released from the pancreas and bile from the liver. Here, proteases break down proteins into amino acids, and pancreatic amino acids breaks down starch into maltose, and lipases breaks down fats to glycerol. Pancreatic juice neutralizes the acidic liquid from the stomach. All the digestible uh, material is thus changed into soluble compounds which can pass through the lining of intestine and into the blood stream. 90% of the absorption occurs in the small intestine. Large intestine. Here we can see the large intestine. Here the colon is divided into three parts that is ascending colon, transverse colon and descending colon. It is about five feet long. It accepts what small intestine don't absorb. The large intestine secretes no enzyme but the bacteria in the colon that is part of the fiber to form fatty acids which the colon can absorb. Bile cells are observed and written to the liver by the blood circulation. The colon also absorbs much of the water from the undigestible residues and semi-solid waste. The pieces of stool is passed into the rectum by peristalsis and is expelled. The act of expelling the feces is called ejection or defecation. Here in this table we can see the sites of digestion, secretion, digestive glands, enzyme and, and their action. Mouth, is sec mouth secretes saliva from salivary glands and produces an enzyme called amylase which breaks the starch to maltose. Stomach secretes gastric juice by the glands in the stomach wall releases protease enzyme that breaks proteins to polypeptides. Duodenum. Duodenum. We already studied that duodenum is the first part of the intestine. It is mixed with the bile 
from liver and pancreatic juice from pancreas here from liver there, uh, there will be no digest to enzymes but fat is emulsified that is break down into oil droplets and uh, here again in uh, from pancreas amylase trypsin lipase enzymes are released amylase breaks the starch into maltose trypsin breaks the polypeptides into peptides and lipase breaks emulsified fats into fatty acids plus glycerol ileum which is the last part of the small intestine it secretes intestinal juice by the intestinal glands it secretes an enzyme called sucrase which breaks the sucrose into glucose and again lactase enzyme breaks the lactose into glucose and erectin enzyme breaks the peptide into amino acids and the lipase enzyme breaks the emulsified fat into fatty acids plus glycerol thanks for the watching the video